All right, guys, welcome back to the eighth update on Tropical Cyclone Freddy, which is now a Category 5 again on my Sapphire Simpson scale. The ATCF forecast system is due to update in around one hour, uh, one hour's time from now. Um, once that updates, we'll definitely see what they're going with. I believe they'll keep it probably at 160, or they might drop it to 155, but at this, um, at this minute, it doesn't really matter. It's just a 5 mile per hour upgrade. You can see Rodrigues uh, to the south of the storm there. Luckily, they're not going to be getting uh, any impact really uh, since the storm is so small that is a really good thing um, the storm the storm is so small that the island of Rodriguez won't be getting impacts even though the storm looks to be only around maybe 400 or maybe even 500 miles away from it currently the storm has maximum sustained winds of 160 miles per hour there's 140 knots gusting with winds of 195 miles per hour it's moving west southwest at 15 miles per hour and this is a threat to land uh, Mauritius and Larry Nunez need to watch this carefully, but more specifically, Madagascar need to watch this really carefully, and also Mozambique, because a lot of the models, I believe every single one now, taking it into Mozambique after it makes a landfall in Madagascar, and taking it into Mozambique is a pretty powerful tropical storm, and reaching cyclone status again. Um, take a look at the intensities here. Uh, ATCF at a category 5 at 160 miles per hour, that's the JTWC. Uh, ADT surprisingly went down to 140. AM AMSU went with 155, and we're going with 160 miles per hour. And you'll see why in just a second uh, with the Vorak imagery um, once that uh, appears. But here we're having a look at the JTWC forecast. Now we can quite clearly see that 140 knot peak that they were expecting, and that has already happened. Um, they're expecting it to weaken, but look at that landfall there. That is going to be at least, since it's inland, it's got winds of 90 knots. So it has to be at least a Category 3 landfall. And look at that strengthening um, in the Mozambique channel. It goes from 45 knots to 60 knots really, really fast. So rapid strengthening in the Mozambique channel. At that point, it's approaching Vieira. Um, they usually get a lot of landfalls from cyclones, especially in cyclone season. Any storms that enter the Mozambique channel they like to hit Vieira for some reason. Um, and uh, yeah, there's going to be a rainfall threat, mainly to Madagascar and Mozambique. Probably Mozambique mainly, though. Um, take a look at the GFS ensembles. Now, this is a worrying sight as this is around 50, um, not 50, I think it's 25 or 30 computer models run at the same time. And then you see what the outcomes is. Every single one is predicting a landfall in Mozambique and Madagascar. Every single one, even the ones that are going really far south, are predicting a landfall in Mozambique. Thankfully, it looks like at this time, Mauritius and Larry Nunez are spared from the storm. It looks like it will be traveling north within 24 hours. The storm would have reached the islands of uh, um, uh, Mauritius. And it will be passing north of Larry Nunez in around the 36-hour mark. And then 48 hours, it's already approaching Madagascar. So it's going to be moving very fast. Um, I believe it might be moving at around 20 miles per hour. Um, take a look at the Dvorak imagery. Now, this is why I think the ATCF... And my analysis team, we think that they will keep it at a Category 5 for now. And um, you can see a band of at least minus 70 or more wrapping around the whole eye. I, I'm not sure what the eye temp is. Um, if, I, if I do figure out before I upload the video, that will, in, that will be in the description below. Um, so check that out um, and you'll see the eye temperature of the storm but I believe it is well into the positives at this time but you can see that thick band of at least all minus 70s wrapping around the entire eye that indicates a really strong storm and with an eye temperature which is pretty warm um, usually if our eye temperature is around above 50 degrees at that point that's enough to call a 155 or category 5 uh, on the Sapphire Simpson scale Take a look at some CCC imagery here. Um, very good cloud tops, really decent actually. Those blues indicate a cloud top of at least minus 70 wrapping around the whole eye wall. And the songs achieved that really nicely. I mean, it is just picture-esque category five um, on the Sapphire scale. It's just picture-esque. And thank you for watching this update. I'll see you in the next update. Peace out.